In this tutorial, I'm going to take a look at how you can fit or adjust images in Adobe InDesign. So first, let's make a rectangle frame tool. Oh, I mean, select the rectangle frame tool and make a rectangle frame. And I'm going to make a couple uh, so I can add a couple of images and show you how to work with that. Now with my selection tool, I'm going to select my first frame tool. I'm going to go to file and then choose place. And I'm going to choose this spaghetti. Click open. As you can see here, I'm going to zoom in a bit. This image isn't really fitted to my bounding box. Um, I'm going to show you the first way you can adjust an image. Select your direct selection tool, select the image. And as you can see, we now have this orange bounding box visible. And here we can adjust the image by shift dragging, alt dragging, and just making the image smaller how we want it to be. But as you can see, that's a lot of guessing and all that, so it's not really the best way to do so. Let's insert another image. So file, place. And this one seems okay. Can check. So I just double clicked instead of opening. Um, it seems okay, but it isn't really okay. Okay, so I selected it with my, with my direct selection tool. And now I'm going to go to object and I'm going to go to fitting and here I'm going to choose content aware fit. And as you can see, InDesign has fitted my image to my bounding box. So the content aware fit is a really nice option in InDesign you can use to fit your images in your bounding boxes without having to manually adjust everything. So I'm going to take another one here and then I'm going to select it, go to object, fitting and choose content aware fit. So it's adjusted it a bit. You can also play around with the other types of fitting if you want. You have to fit frame proportionally then you have fit content proportionally you can see that it just adjusts everything but here it adjusted it in a way that it doesn't really adhere to your frame you made for it so be aware of that and um, let's see what else we have We have the fit frame to content. In this case, it was already sort of fitted. And then we have fitting fit content to frame, but the frame is already fitted to the image. I will make a new frame. So this frame and then file place. Let's take this one open. Okay, so this one I'm going to go to object, fitting, and then here I'm going to fit my content to frame. And as you can see here, it adjusted it so that the content is fit for the frame. So you can play around with that, but the most used uh, fitting is probably the content aware fit because it does a really good job. So, a couple of options on how you can adjust and fit your images in Adobe InDesign. Be sure to let me know in the comments below if you like this video, press the like button if you did, press the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos going live every Wednesday and Thursday. So for now, keep creative and I hope to see you in the next one.